going everybody so i'm back in the video hope everyone's having a great day in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys 10 brand new cydia tweaks so i know i haven't been uploading jailbreak content on the channel lately uh, it's been just a lot of crypto videos over the last month or so um, don't worry i still will be uploading like ios content um, as well as jailbreak content um, so i kind of want to um, every single week instead of just sticking with crypto videos like for a month straight i kind of want to mix and match it so maybe every week i'll upload like two crypto videos and then two like ios jailbreak content videos so i don't just have a period of time where i'm just uploading the same content i kind of want to branch out right now i'm trying to explore what kind of works on my channel so um just bear with me i still will be uploading crypto video if you're into that as well as ios tutorials jailbreak content so all the tweaks that i mentioned in this video as well as these sources that you'll need to add will be in the comment section Fortunately, I can't add them in the description anymore because some sources uh, in from Cydia do violate the YouTube's community guidelines, so I just can't upload in the description, but they will be in the comments section. So the first tweak we have in today's video is called a Blaze. This one is a very similar tweak to Colorflow 4, if you guys don't know what that is. It is a tweak for Apple Music and Spotify, which basically changes the background colors so it matches your album artwork. So if we head over into um, my Spotify application right now, you guys can see some of them won't really do anything because they're going to be like video uh, kind of like album artwork but you guys can see something like this it will completely change the background color so it matches the album artwork we got the new j cole album right here so this one looks pretty dope as well so you guys kind of get the point but like i said this is only compatible with spotify and apple music so the next we have for you guys is called youtube classic video quality so with the new youtube update a lot of people have been just giving youtube hate on the way you guys change your uh, youtube quality in the youtube application so basically this tweet just brings back the old feature so if you guys see right here we're on one of my videos we can actually change the quality like always we don't have a bunch of random just settings that we have to go through to change the quality we have it all in one page right here so just a very simple one just to bring back the old quality uh feature for youtube so the next we got for you guys is called hidden lock 14 so with the photos application you're actually able to put some of your photos into a hidden folder but with that feature um you anyone can still access that folder it's just called hidden so with this tweak you guys see it's going to add more security to your hidden album in your photos app where it adds the face id right here so no one can access it it's going to be only you who, ha who has that face id enabled on your device so uh, just a pretty cool tweak called the hidden lock 14. the next tweak i got for you guys is called vibin so this is a very useful tweak for anyone who just listens to music a lot on their ios device so you guys can see right here once you do install it it's going to allow you to um, enable the do not disturb mode every single time a music starts on your device whether that may be like spotify apple music and also you guys can even hide the notifications as well on your lock screen because some people have like these tweaks where they redesign their um, kind of lock screen player so this will disable all notifications on your lock screen as well which is pretty awesome so this one's called vibin the next thing we have for you guys is called the safari tabs 14 this one basically just brings the ipad tabs in your safari application on your iphone and ipod touch right here i honestly prefer this a lot over having to click on the bottom right hand corner and switching tabs through here um you guys can see right here we can just tap on the top of the screen and switch between tabs really quickly which i do love so although this is a very just simple tweak it's still very useful for me especially because i use safari a lot on a daily basis with multiple tabs open so the next tweak i got for you guys is called the snapify so this basically brings the snapchat feature when you're messaging someone on snapchat to your imessage application so as you guys see i'm in a group chat right now one of my messages if we do type you don't actually see that send button in the text box so that completely removes it and it replaces it right here where there's a send button now so it's no it's no longer a return button in my opinion i do prefer it although it's not as close because when you're typing um you're just so used to clicking beside the text box now you gotta uh, click it on the bottom right hand corner because sometimes when i'm texting i'll accidentally just press the send button in the text box um so now it just puts it at the bottom of the page where the return button is so um the that's basically it. It's called Snapify. So the next figure for you guys is called Loopy. And this one basically allows you to get a magnifying glass when you're adjusting text um, in your like text box right here or like notes, for example. So for example, if, for example, if I want to kind of like change some of these texts right here, 
obviously you tap and hold but now it adds this magnifying glass so you got, you can actually see a little bit closer so if your eyesight's not that um, good you're going to be able to see this a lot better when adjusting your text right here so once you do installs you guys can change some of the views right here you can change like the horizontal and vertical offset um, for the magnifying cursor as well as you guys enable this in web view trackpad all of that stuff so i honestly find this tweak very useful uh for someone like me who just doesn't have the, the best eyesight at the moment so uh, make sure you guys go check out this tweak so this next tweak is actually one of my favorite tweaks out of the ones in this video so this one's called the current right here so you guys can see this little kind of wavy kind of uh, line right here this basically represents your battery life. So you guys see right now, like always in my videos, my phone is always dead or basically almost dead. It's currently at 2%. So for example, if my phone was at 50% right now, the bar would be about right here. So it kind of gives you an update on your battery life. It's pretty cool. Honestly, obviously this basically just like the looks of it doesn't really do anything with your battery life at all. So this one's called current and you can even enable it in your on your uh, home screen as well right here. So I just have it set to my log screen. You guys can change like the wave color as well as the wave um, amplitude as well. So just a pretty awesome tweak. One of my favorite ones, like I said, in this video called curtain so the next one for you guys is called hanada and this one basically gives you like the samsung kind of lock screen right here with the date and time as well as the weather your current weather and depending on your location so um there isn't really much uh to customize with this uh tweak in the settings app so we have the option to enable it put the 24 hour clock or the 12 hour clock we can hide certain things if you want like the unlock task uh, text weather icon status bar the quick action buttons we have the option to change the color um, customize the size of the text uh, which is pretty awesome and there's a couple other settings right here you guys can kind of like position it differently but um honestly it just looks super sleek on the lock screen right here um, as well as with my wallpaper so this one's called hanada so the last week for you guys is called siri spring so this one allows you to get a custom basically a respring logo so this one is siri um, Siri logo obviously every time I respring my device so you will need snowboard for this so I do have a separate video on actually how to get the extension for it so I'm gonna link that down below in the description of the video but basically once you do install the Siri spring you just go to select theme and you want to enable it in your uh, snowboard application and then now when I respring my device real quick right here you guys can see instead of that boring kind of like respring logo we get this cool little Siri animation every time we respring our device so there's a lot of customizations or a lot of themes and other themes you guys can download from Cydia but this one's called Siri Spring. So that's basically it for video hope you guys did enjoy this one like I said I know it's been a while if there's any tweaks I uh, missed out that you guys want me to make in the next one I'm gonna try to have another one next week for you guys leave it down below in the comment section if you did enjoy the video drop a like on it hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys don't miss a video it's basically it and I'll see you guys in the next one.